Before your bees arrive, it's a good idea to become comfortable with your material and play around with it a little bit before you've got 50,000 bees in the hive. So setting up a hive is a little like assembling a fancy dessert, like a multi-layered cake. So the first layer of our cake is the stand. On top of our stand, we have the base of our hive. It looks like this. Later on in the season, you'll discover all the different uses of the drawer that we find here. So you're gonna place your base and it'll fit over the two metal bars. For the time being, you can leave the drawer slid into place just like this. On top of our base, we're gonna put our first, our first box. We're gonna place our box on top of our stand around these metal corners. Now in our box, we have 10 frames and the frames are really where all of the action happens in your hive. And as the season progresses and you do more and more inspections, you'll see that you're gonna develop a really close relationship with your frames. Although it's just a small part, it's a really essential part of the hive. As the name would suggest, the entrance reducer, it reduces the bees' access to the entrance. So as you can see, our entrance reducer has different size notches. This is the smallest and this is the medium. So if it were a really cold day or a really cold night, you might want to put your entrance reducer right here in front of your hive, meaning that there's the least amount of heat escaping from the hive. The final step to putting together our hive, the icing on the cake, you might say, is the inner cover and outer cover. Once your bees have been living in your hive for a while and they've started to build up wax and propolis, the inner cover is actually going to be quite hard to take off. And without it, it would be completely impossible to take off the outer cover. So you'll understand why it's useful a little bit later on. So I'm just gonna place it right on top of the upper box. On top of the inner cover, I'm gonna place the outer cover. The lid to our hive. So the, in the outer cover fits on top, just like this, nice and snug. So now that your hive is all set up, the last thing you need to do is make sure that your bees have a water source. So just like humans, bees need a lot of water to survive. So this is a really great water feeder. It's designed specifically for the bees so that they won't drown. So it fits on just on top like this. And this way the bees will be able to come here and rest on the side while they drink their water without falling into it. So you can leave your hive like this until your bees arrive. If you're placing your bee on a rooftop, I suggest you put something heavy on top like a brick or a big rock or even strap it down. So now the next step, is to choose the best placement for the hive.